Over to you. All right, well, a Six Flags amusement park near Chicago is celebrating diversity with Muslim Family Day. It's happening on September 12th. Some say that's insensitive, but what's even more controversial are the allegations that the Muslim group organizing the event could have been involved in financing the September 11th terror attacks. Joe Kaufman is the chairman of Americans Against Hate and founder of Care Watch, and he joins us with his reaction. Good morning, Joe. Hey, everybody. All right, so what don't you like about this September 12th Muslim Family Day at Six Flags? Well, the fact that they're having it on September 12th, I believe they are, they are actually spitting in the face of Americans. And that makes sense for this organization, the Islamic Circle of North America, or ICNA. This is the American arm of the Muslim Brotherhood of Pakistan, Jamaat-e Islami, an organization that has right on their website a campaign called Go America Go. It states right on the home page of their official website, all Islam and Pakistan loving forces must unite against America. And as well, in March of 2000, then national president of ICNA, Muhammad Yunus, he had uh, issued a request calling on supporters of ICNA to give, quote, material support to groups associated with Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. And ICNA posted this, this request on their website, along with a link to the main website uh, that was recruiting fighters and raising funds for Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. And this was shortly before 9-11 till shortly after 9-11. So here we have an organization that is having an event one day after, after uh, the anniversary of the 9-11 tragedy when they may be themselves involved in, uh, in financing 9-11. Well, those certainly are uh, troubling findings that you have there. We should tell our audience we're going to have a representative from ICNA on tomorrow to answer those. But in the meantime, let me tell you what Six Flags says about this and about why they chose that date. We host numerous group events in our parks. The Muslim Day event is a fun-filled family outing that typically coincides with the end of the Ramadan holiday. The day consists of a variety of activities, including prayer services, food vendors offering a halal menu, and of course our signature rides and attractions. It's open for guests to enjoy. We should also mention this started, by the way, in the year 2000, their Muslim Family Day. So it predates 9-11. What do you think of their statement that this is just a fun family day with a good track record? Well, with regards to having it at Six Flags, it may sound innocuous, but the, the, uh, the agenda behind this organization has nothing to do with anything that's, uh, that's kind or good or, or sounds great, like going to Six Flags. Uh, in October 2007, I actually uh, I, I, uh, led a demonstration against this group. Ironically, uh, outside of one of their Six Flags events, I was calling on the public to understand that in August of 2006, this organization, again, ICNA, Islamic Circle of North America, was the top donor to a Pakistani charity called the al Kidmat Foundation. This is Jamaat-e-Islami's uh, charity. At the same time that the al Kidmat Foundation took a delegation to Damascus, Syria to, uh, to give $99,000 to the global head of Hamas at his residence, uh, Khalid right. Mashal. And, and, uh, and Mashal thanked them for the gift and in turn he said that, that they would use this money towards more terrorist attacks against Israel. Joe, and so I would say to... Yes. I'm sorry, we're yes. going to have to leave it there. We're running out of time, but you've made some uh, very provocative and compelling points. And again, we will have ICNA on tomorrow to answer all of those. Thanks so much for coming on this morning. Thank you. Thank you.